So this one here is the very first doll I've ever owned. Hey guys, this is Brenda from my Wee Burns Cradle. Today I stayed home because I had to go to the doctors for my usual monthly checkup. Oh wow, I see that she's getting shiny. This here is Emily Faye. She is my very, very first reborn. And she has a magnetic pacifier. And I forget what scope she is right now, but I wanted to tell you my first impressions of her. The very first time I opened her. Um, okay, stay tuned. So, hey guys, this is Brenda here, and I just wanted to tell you, um, a few quick chats about my true thoughts of what I thought the very first time I saw Emily. <laughs> now, as you can see, Emily's hair... But you know what is so weird? She smells like baby powder, like even her hair. And I don't know why. But here's what she looks like. She is very small, actually. She's smaller than I thought, but she is weighted really well for her. The first doll that I picked up that was weighted like a reborn. Um, I remember the first time when I like opened up um the clothes for her and i thought oh my goodness these are so tiny so tiny clothing and i had no idea how small they could be especially girls i never had any baby girls i only had baby boys and they grew fast you guys my boys grew within three days they grew and they just never stayed small. They're still growing. All three. Well, okay. Eric is almost my size. He can wear my shoes size. And his hands are my size. My other two sons are taller than me. Especially Brendan. He's a lot taller than me already. And he's only 15. But um, anyways, I do remember the very first time when I seen their clothing. I was like... Oh my goodness, it, this is happening. This is really happening. And, um, and, but when I picked her up, I thought, she's small. I didn't think they were this small. But I accepted her, and I knew that she had hair issues. Like, if you look closely, her hair is very pluggy. I don't know if you're in focus. Sorry, trying to focus you. But, um, but she smells amazing. She still smells. Oh, I wanted to show you what she actually looked like. She has a different body. She's from the UK originally, but the person who I bought it from is in the States. And this was my first reborn, and I remember all the custom fees and the rate exchange. Of currency and I'm like whoa they're so expensive even way more than I thought so my second reborn and a lot of most of the others came from Canada so but here she is um she is really cute though she is really cute but she is a lot smaller than my other dolls now my second reborn doll was from eBay and I had no problems with eBay so I was very happy about that um, the doll that came to me was a little bit bigger but she was still newborn size see Emily here could be a large preemie and this newborn size of clothes are a little bit bigger on her but not too bad <clears throat> And she has an old-fashioned reworn body, so, like, you know how nowadays they have, like, a tapered body and a tapered butt? She doesn't. Actually, I would really like to show you. 
what what that looks like. Okay, I'll turn the camera around. Let's see. So here is Emily. She's in this vintage type um, undershirt, I guess. I love it. And um, it was gifted to me and by Kelly, I'm pretty sure. But um, it's a preemie size, and even this is so big. But see her old-fashioned body here? And it's a white one. It wasn't the... The... Um... um I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm losing track. Uh, the flesh-colored body is not that. And excuse my hands are so dry. I think that's what was distracting me. But I love her painting, and I love all these freckled and red splotches because that is exactly how we are in our family these red splotchiness that's exactly us so um she was gifted or not gift sorry she was sold to me as a slight boo boo baby because of her hair and i knew that it was extremely pluggy like that i knew that I don't know if you could there now you can see it and somehow I don't know what happened but I think she tried pulling some out or something or some came out pulled out by accident and but she's still very beautiful and I love her eyelashes and I don't know this is part of the boob but I like it it's kind of like um you know when babies get colds but she's still very, very cute. She's just very small. I mean, look at my hand here. So, anyways, this is her old-fashioned body. She is very old. She's an older sculpt, sculpt. And her, like, kit is extremely hard. Like, this is hard. I think that's why. Like, I think she tried to maybe want to fix her. But she realized she couldn't because this is very, very tough. Like, I can barely... Oh, yeah, I did right there, but sorry if that <laughs> looked like it hurt, but she's she's only a doll. <laughs> but, um, yeah, she was my very first reborn. She's a lot smaller than I thought, but she's very, very cute, and I love the things that came with her. And the pacifier was really, really cute and everything, and I do remember. And she does look realistic, especially for a doll. I mean, I think she looks realistic, especially for being an older sculpt. But, um, okay, I'll pause. Okay, I'm just going to get them back onto my chair <laughs> before my legs hurt too much. Okay. Uh, I'm going to fix up myself. <laughs> So, um, yeah, the first time, and then my third reborn was Jamie Summer, and she's a Porsche kit, and she's a bit bigger. She's like, she can wear a six-month size, and I thought she was perfect. I fell in love with her so much. I mean, she could wear some three-month to six-month, but some six-months she could wear, and I totally loved picking her up and sitting her down, and she's great. I still have her. She's in my bedroom. She's a biracial, and she's beautiful, <laughs> of course. Every, every reborn mommy thinks her babies are the best. <laughs> but, um, and then um, I came to discover that I wanted a variety of all these babies. I mean, this Emily was made by a certain artist. Um, my second reborn doll was made by a certain artist. And my third reborn was made by a certain artist. So um, I really enjoyed seeing the different techniques. And also Emily, is, her insides are different. I never opened her up. But um, I can feel that they're a bit different, like maybe using those, um, what are they called, poly palettes, and yeah, that's what they're called. So um, yeah, it was so interesting t to me as a collector, having all these different sizes of dolls and 
being painted by different artists. I really liked it. And it became like a, an obsession almost. Like, oh, I want to see how this person does it. I want to see how this person does it. It was really, really interesting and addicting to collect all these different dolls. And then I quickly realized I want painted hair. I want rooted hair. I want combination hair. I want open eyed. I want closed eyed. I want happy face. I want pouty face. I want scrunchy face. <laughs> so, yeah, this is how it all started. But uh, Emily here was slightly disappointed at how small she was, but overall, she is amazing. Um, not as, uh, as amazing as others that I have in my collection. I definitely have a wide range of different um, quality, I guess, of reborn artists' uh, abilities. Um, I have a lot that don't even have veining. And oh, my poor Vivian Kate, she is my, um, what kit is she? Cheyenne kit. And she's beautiful. And actually, Francis, my fiance, that was his first favorite doll of mine. And he really liked her. But she's so pale. She definitely needs to be repainted. Um, I think what happened was her insides were, had sand in it and dirt. And over time, it kind of ruined the granule from the inside. Maybe mold. I don't know. I hope not. But she's so pretty. But yeah, I kind of feel bad for her. Um, but I definitely would love to um, get her redone. I do want to reborn one day, hopefully. So I'm still trying to go for that goal. And if I do, I definitely want to try and fix her up. At least maybe not her face, but at least her limbs and her body. So, but uh, yeah. So my impression of a first reborn was, hmm, they're small, but hmm, they kind of feel nice. They're weighted nice, but still kind of dollish. What's the big deal? <laughs> but but after getting my third reborn doll, I was blown. I was blown away. I really took a shine to her. I still love her so much. <coughs> Excuse me. As for my second reborn, um, she was she was on the heavy side, but over time her paint rubbed off, and it was kind of a disappointment. And I also owned another bigger doll from the same artist, and her paint also rubbed off. So I'm disappointed at that too. Um, Obviously, Emily here has been, her paint still there, and her hair's not. <laughs> but, um, I don't know, I, I really love this hobby. It's a wonderful feeling. I love holding them. Not so much the little ones, although the twin A's that I have, I love holding them. Even though they're, even though they're small, I'm sorry about my voice. <clears throat> I know I slur sometimes. So that's probably why I'm so quiet a lot of the time. And, um, yeah. I was going to say something, but then I thought, nah, I don't know. I'm getting a cold, too, so that's why my knee, my nose sounds a little congested. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go now. I feel like I'm just rambling and can't wait for the weekend and we are going out to the land this weekend can't wait for that i'm hoping to do some uh taping video taping out there that would be great and even bringing somebody again like i did last year last year i brought jerica delaney and she's my santa kid and oh my goodness her painting in oh sorry let's look at my phone her painting in the sunlight was so amazing. She looked even more realistic. And how is that possible? <laughs> but anyways, guys, hope that you're having a great day. Thank you so much for being here. 
and watching my videos and leaving nice comments. I get a lot of bad comments too and sometimes I just feel like, why bother? But then I get nice comments from you guys, so thank you so much for that, for making me feel special. <laughs> so until next time guys, take care, love you, bye for now.